my name is Issa Yomaz. I'm a senior at Middletown North, and I run track and field and play soccer. All right, hello, my name is Yasmin Yomaz. I'm his twin sister. Um, I actually am more into the arts, so I do make movies, and I'm a filmmaker at high school. How has having a twin affected you in school? I think having a twin, it's like, it's it like a lot of being compared to her, you know, so like, She's always like one upping me, so then I have to get back and like one up her, you know. But like, it, it I like it because like you're never alone. You always got like somebody. What he said. But so it's like because it, like even if we don't like, we never are like, oh my god, I'm beating you at this or this. We're never like like in a verbal competition, but like it's in our like subconscious, like it's back there. And I know like a lot of teachers like tease us. Um, that share us in classes uh, or in different classes, they usually are like making like comments and teasing like, oh, I heard your brother got like this like amount on the test, you know, like what are you gonna get and stuff like that. Yeah. As you might know, there's eight sets of twins in the 2020 graduating class. So what do you think of that? That's like pretty crazy that there's like so many of us. Um, I think in my literature class, there's like four sets of twins if I remember correctly. And then my gym class, there's like five of us. So like, it's funny when you're in a class with like a bunch of twins. Yeah, and um, the four by eight relay team for the track and field, it's composed of all twins. It's <laughs> me, uh, Anthony Scafani is a twin. Uh, Kevin Carragher, who's a twin. His brother goes to South. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> and um, who's that? Me? Hey, Who? David Dillard. Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> Chris Cameron. <Gavardella. laughs> oh my God. Yeah, geez, I was like, who am I missing right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Do you guys share the same interests or friends? Uh, I think no. we're like really diverse. We're like, yeah. <laughs> um, I would say like we tend to be like not polar opposites, but like we have like a lot opposites. of differences. Yeah, opposites. we yeah we do have a lot. Of differences. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like uh, Issa, for example, he's more into like you know track and like sports and yada yada. Um, I'm more into like I said before the arts. I'm more in, like. Like, I'm more directed towards the creatives. He's more directed towards the athletics. So in that, we differentiate. Um, our friends, we don't really share the same friends, but, like, we still talk to one another anyways. So, yeah, we're pretty opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been in the same class? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What was it like? It was actually freshman year. We had <laughs> world, world literature and world history on yeah. us together. So, like, and that, that was just weird because, like, that was, like, our first – our first like time in high school and then we had class together I was like yo is like all of high school gonna be like that but nah yeah. it was just like that year right oh yeah, no we had econ this year and Spanish right. yeah econ and Spanish this year yeah okay. yeah because like we never were in the same class at all prior to high school not even in preschool so it was really weird freshman year but like honestly like by like the first week I pretty much got used to it like it, he just ends up becoming like another classmate um, yeah yeah but like this year was so freshman year, we had two classes together, and then sophomore and junior year, we had a break, and then uh, senior year, we had two classes together, which is econ and Spanish. Yeah, and it's not like uh, it makes class any easier, because, <laughs> like, you'll ask her for work, and she'll be like, no, you do it yourself, but she didn't have me. I'm like, okay. So. Yeah, I'm like, I, I'm like, I'm not letting this one cheat off of me. Like, you got to work on your own. Like, <laughs> Are there any, like, stereotypical things that happen for you guys as twins? Um, I don't know. I guess, like, occasionally we'll just be, like, we'll say, like, the same thing at the yeah. same time. But, like, I feel like that just happens with anybody. But it's funny to joke yeah. about it. Like, oh, twin telepathy. You know, yeah. It doesn't mean, exist. I mean, I, like, we have our classic, like, sibling, like, bickery, I guess. Like, in school, like, teasing one another. Like, if I pass by him in the hallway, I'd be like, like, hey. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's just, like, it's, like, usual sibling what's, shit. What's I don't know. Like, happen? I don't know how to explain it. Like. I don't know. I don't know what's the term for it, but like, there's nothing like too like stereotypical that we do. Do you guys have like the twin connection, like you know, oh, in TV? Uh, you know, talking about, uh, I yes and no. <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. Like some days we'll be like on the same page, and other days we're like, what? Like I I don't understand what yeah. you're saying or something like that. <laughs> That's pretty much it. If that makes sense. Yeah. What are some of your favorite memories in your four years at North? Like with one another or like in general? Yeah, just in general or one another. I would say for the most part, like for me specifically, um, definitely like school trips, like A Push and Miss McGowan's trips. Um, and then like all the times I worked with like classmates and friends with like making short films, like that's really fun. 
Um, I'm getting to do my passion while also hanging out with friends. Um, but then like your usual clash shenanigans, like just laughing in class with your friends and such. Yes. Oh my. <laughs> I'm getting that wish back, right? Yes, yeah, same. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Like having like these like awesome teachers that like you can relate to and they like joke with you, but they're also like helping you learn and become like a better person. Um, going on like trips to like New York and like different different faraway places for like track meets, like that was really exciting. Uh, breaking school records, that's like that's really special. There's, there's just a lot of things. There's so many things. Like, I can't – like, the football games, that's also, like, really fun. I'll never forget those. Yeah. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So, um, what are some of your biggest accomplishments? Uh, well, I didn't graduate yet. I'm, like, graduated. <laughs> no. wow. uh, I don't know. I guess, like – yeah, the school, the school records thing. That's like that's something that's special because like my name is gonna be there until it gets knocked off. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess for me, like poetry out loud was definitely a big accomplishment because I I tend to I'm not really like artsy in that sense when it comes to literature. So being able to perform and stuff like that on stage and then go to Count Basie Count Basie and perform that was like a pretty big step. But then, like, the film festivals, that, that has been a pretty good accomplishment because I've been able to network outside of school and start up my career. So, yeah. Do you have any role models in your life? And it could be, like, a teacher or something. So when it comes to, like, in my family, uh, like, like my, my grandmother and mother, I look for, like, I look towards as a role model because, like, my mother always says, like, you know, strive for your passion, don't give up on it. And my grandmother's hardworking. So, like, I think that's where I get a lot of my hardworking skills from is from her. Um, when it comes to teachers, I have like several teachers that have like supported me along the way and like they are very passionate in what their studies are and their job and I want to be like them. I want to be able to grow up and like be in a job that I love and wake up in the morning and look forward to. So definitely like a lot of my teachers um, and then a lot of the people I've networked through film festivals, um, they're in the, the film career. They're in the industry, and I look forward to being able to work with them because they've really taught me a lot of stuff and to become a stronger filmmaker. So, yeah. I don't really have a, like, specific role model, I don't think, but it's more like everybody, like, as a whole, collectively, I feel like they all, they all, like, inspire me in different ways to, like, be, like, be different. Like, my fa my friends, my family, like, everybody that you surround yourself with, like, there's specific traits that you want from them that like, that's why you surround yourself with them. And like, they help you grow to be the person you are. So I don't really have like a specific role model. I think it's just everybody around me. They just like teach me. How has quarantine affected your senior year? Well, I mean, like it's been like, I don't know. Like, I mean, right now when it comes to classes, it's tough because I feel like I'm not really learning new material. Um, I'm just doing busy work, but like, it's this is all new to us so I can't blame the teachers I can't blame you know the school because this is all new obviously so when it comes to like the education proportion it's obviously very different it's not what I expected it would be um but when it comes to like events it's like man I'm gonna miss you know my prom uh senior assassin senior skip day senior prank day that clap out thing um just even yearbook signing saying goodbye to your teachers and then like graduation in person like that's huge like not being able to throw the cap with everyone I mean, like that, like, I mean, it sucks that we won't be able to like experience that. But I mean, in perspective as to what's happening around us, it's like, it keeps us in check of like, all right, this is the reality of it. Sometimes we just have to sacrifice some things for the better, so. Yeah, yeah I mean, at first I was like, I was pretty devastated. I was just like, that's it. Like you only get one senior year, like everybody talks about it. Like, and now we're not, and we're never gonna really know what that's like. Um, same with her, like, when it comes to education, I mean, at first I was like, yo, I, I like, I can't learn like this, but I think the teachers realized that. So they yeah. just started like giving just like busy work. So, I mean, it's been pretty easy and it's like the fourth market period now. So like, yeah. it's not like we're going to be doing anything as seniors anyway. Um, but yeah, when it comes to like events, like missing prom graduation, like I'll never, I'll never have that, like that memory of like walking, getting my, my diploma, it's called yeah, a diploma. Cool. Right? <laughs> 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 <My bad. laughs> diploma like graduating with like your best friends or, or like prom like it's just really annoying and the 
I think the really annoying part about it was like not being able to visit like the colleges you were interested in because like I was just gonna wait until like last minute to figure out where I'm trying to go and then just quarantine hit and everything's closed and I'm just like okay so I kind of just had to pick a college based on like what I read like I didn't get to like experience it in person and I think that's really important but hopefully we made the right choice see what do you guys plan to do in the future and for like college and stuff I don't know if you want to do <laughs> um I'm not really too sure yet I think I want to do something in like finance maybe like work on like Wall Street or something but we'll see I mean there's just like so many different like paths you could take at this point in your life and it's like it's crazy to think like any decision you make like that'll just completely change the outcome of the rest of your life so like I don't know <laughs> I'll figure it out along the way I'm kind of like really good at winging things you know I don't really ever have a plan so. <laughs> Uh, for me, um, I'm think I'm definitely majoring in film. Um, so I really want to go towards that career path. Um, like I'm thinking of even like taking up some minors and maybe double major with like communications and all that stuff. Because like for me, my like dream job would be able to like like for example work for National Geographic and like travel the world. Um, Yo, go look to how long that dog is. <laughs> Oh Yo, you gotta show it. Okay, there's a. There's two dogs. They're just so long. You can't see on the camera, but they are just so long. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put that in. I'll keep that in. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways. <laughs> okay, but anyways, yeah. So like for me, like definitely majoring in film and those related studies because like I want to work for National Geographic or related company or to a related occupation because for me my dream job would be able to travel the world um experience different cultures and environments and just document it all and then like any of the footage i film uh can be used for tv shows movies documentaries and etc so that would definitely be my goal in life right now so do, do you guys plan in the future to like have like a good like relationship still like stay i mean i do i don't know about her. i do what? she's kind of empty sometimes excuse so. me what <laughs> That is a lie. Do not listen to them. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. That is like, because we don't have like beef where we're like, oh, I'm so done with him. Once I leave college, that's it. Like, we are going. I don't know. You give those vibes. Hey, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, uh, we're going to college. Uh, our universities are literally like a train ride away, like a 30 minute train ride away. So, like, if I have to, I visit him once in a while. And hopefully he'd visit me. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's really acting a little strange right now saying that. <laughs> but yeah, that w we wouldn't be like that, no. Do you have any like advice or words of wisdom for underclassmen? Make the most of your high school. Like, I honestly have so many regrets from just like not going out. Like, all right, this is, like might sound like bad, but like, yeah, school's about, like, studying and stuff, but, like, you don't want to just spend your whole time just studying and stressing out about work. Like, make sure you have fun and you enjoy your time, too, because, like, it's basically, like, the last four years of your youth, you, you want to make the best of it. Don't yeah. don't be graduating with, like, regrets and wishing you did this, wishing you did that. So. One of the biggest things that I would give for advice and I wish I learned early on is time management and try to avoid procrastinating because, like, for example, everyone always says, like, junior is your hardest year. And like, honestly, if I just got, you know, my time management right, um, junior year would have been a breeze. Like, honestly, I mean, like, you don't want to burn yourself out. That's another thing. Um, freshman and sophomore year, I think I put way too much effort. So then I burned myself out. And then I kind of started slacking off junior year and senior year. Make sure that you find a balance between your social and, um, you know, school life, because you want to make sure you don't burn yourself out. And then you want to make sure that you're using your time right and not like, wasting time on TikTok rather than getting your assignment done right away. <laughs> so that is one huge thing that I learned. Okay, those are all my questions. Do you guys have anything else to say? I don't know. Do you have anything else to say? Um, the only bad thing about quarantine now that I just realized was uh, no haircuts. Like, what do I do? Like, um, look at, I don't even know what's going on anymore. He can't say anything. My hair is literally way too long right now. I need to cut it. Like, this this is, like, way too long. I, I just, I can't, I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> like, that that shouldn't be that long. <laughs> well, don't, don't, like, shave your head off. That's what usually, that's what everyone's doing.
I've been watching a lot of YouTube tutorials about how to cut your own hair. I think I might have to risk it. I'll probably dye his hair if he really wants to cut it. Sure. I don't care about dyeing it. I've seen it cut. No, it. we'll make a whole new renovation to your hair, bro. It'll be great. You should make a video about it. You can go viral. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>